In this video I'm going to talk about the BMD Micro Studio Camera using the uh, 8M2 lens controller. Uh, but first I'll just quickly sh start off showing you some of the connections on the, this is the finished unit. It's not much bigger than my hand, so it's quite small. One on the top here we have um, an LED, a, a tri-coloured LED which shows you tally and status of the setting up. There's a little hole in here, you probably can't see because everything's black. It's the um, hole for setting uh, between the Canon, there it is there, between the Canon and uh, Fuji lens, a little switch in there. Um, on the front, we have the uh, return HDSDI in, and then it loops, well, it passes through electronically to the camera to control, to be able to control the camera CCU. Up the top, we have a, a connector for the um, remote LED or the tri-state um, um, tally LED that can uh, sit up on your viewfinder. We have 12 volts power in and um, down here we have USB for firmware updates and for setting up uh, system setup. We're going to turn around uh, on this cable which is attached permanently is uh, the cable that goes to the, the Fuji and Canon's zoom control and then uh, we have um, on the back the um, uh, there's a, re a reset button here. There's a uh, setup button here. This connector here is for the remote zoom and iris control on the pan handle. This is for the remote focus control on the pan handle. And this is the connector that connects to the. Uh, the main connector that connects to the Fuji Canon lens to supply power out to the out to the lens and to control the iris. Uh, and just sitting here in the palm of my hand, this is the actual um, uh, same unit with its pants taken off. And uh, in the middle there, you can see that's the Arduino, uh, sorry, the BMD Arduino shield. The bottom underneath, on the bottom, is the actual Arduino. And then on the top we have uh, my controller card, which does all the all the, the hard work. Uh, so quickly, I'm just going to show you. Uh, I have three cameras up here. I have two ATEM Studio cameras. I'll talk about them in another video. They all got the same setup. They've got the ATEM to um, uh, lens controller unit, and then on this camera three position we have the uh, Micro Studio camera, um, and. Um, I can first of all show you how to how the iris. I can control the iris, and just by bringing it down, you can see up here. Uh, I'm operating the iris up and down. You can see it on the on the waveform here. Oh, get that thing out of the way. That's um, the iris going down and up. Um, you can see I also have control of all the uh, camera controls as well. That's me dropping the blacks bringing the blacks back up and um, let's see if we can do a bit of a, a shuffle. I'll do the gains so we can do the gains. This is all the, the typical stuff that you have with um, the Blackmagic cameras in their um, CCU control uh, and um, I can I can of course you know, just change all the colors as and as and when. You see there's changing all the colors. So that's basically the uh, operating the CCU as a, as a full full CCU control. We have all the all the, the blacks, iris, uh, colorimetry, everything that you need to do to control CCU. Um, for for instance, I can do the zoom. Uh, let me just uh, go. Oh, we're a bit purple now. Let's just go. Let's go and reset that. Uh, oh, wrong button. Hang on, I'm just going to go and reset the, um, reset all, uh, and you can also see here, um, you know, I have all the ability to control uh, the niceties like, you know, turn colour bars on and off, and we can also control the detail and uh, all the other things that come with the remote CCU um, control. Um, here we are going to do a bit of a zoom. You can see here I'm doing the zoom on the CCU control. Let's go all the way in. 
and of course once we're in we can um, do the focus and again that's me doing it all using the mouse and the controls on the um, on the uh, software control panel. Uh, on another video I'll show you it all working with the um, with my 4x CCU controller but we're going to go for a walk now over to the cameras and um, over there in the distance that's um, a, a, um, a Blackmagic studio camera with a Canon lens and underneath there somewhere you probably can't see it's, in, it's all dark under there but underneath in there there's a um, a ATEM2 lens controller this again is another studio camera uh, it's, it's all connected by fibre down under here we have a uh, another uh, studio uh, lens controller and then over here this is the camera that I'm specifically talking about here this is a micro studio camera uh, it has a Canon lens on it and it has a, a B4 to micro four thirds um, adapter on it over there that camera over there you can see it's got the um, the photo dioptics with the correcti correcting lens in it um, which we won't talk about for the moment now this particular camera the way it's got it's cabled up is we have fiber that comes in from just do a nice pan around this is um, the uh, ATEM uh, 2ME, the older 2ME it's got the studio converter um, and all the fibre runs come out uh, on a little patch panel there and then they go all the way around, all the way around onto a studio converter and here the studio converter um, is um, taking the fibre in and we're getting um, video out or sorry HDSDI out and it then goes into the uh, ATEM2 lens controller of uh, which um, we'll cover the cables at the moment and then it's looping output or it's not actually looping it's active comes out and actually goes into the uh, micro studio cameras um, video in or SD, HD SDI in and then the, the main AC SDI out comes out and just goes straight back into the studio converter so it gets down the fiber back to the ATEM. Um, I also have a currently this has got a little five inch video assist on it I actually have a, a, a separate HDMI monitor for this camera I just can't find it at the moment uh, so it's just taken HD uh, what's it called HDMI in from the HDMI out of the micro studio camera so we can do camera setups on here if we need to like setting the camera tally um, and then we have on the uh, on the lens controller we have um, a connector for the zoom and iris controller which just happens to be here um, here is our um, zoom thumb zoom which I'll show you in a moment and then we have a button to switch the iris control in and out um, to uh, give the cameraman control of the iris if the CCU operator has gone to it for a toilet break. Um, and then the next connector over here, we have uh, the focus control, which you see happens to be over here. There's our focus control, which I'll show you again in a moment. And um, uh, what else? We got? And then the bottom down here, we have the actual lens connector, which goes up to the lens, which is feeds the 12 volts in and controls the iris. And then there's another cable here comes out which goes up under here which controls the zoom can't get down low enough anyhow that controls the zoom um, and um, we also um, have all the other controls on the lens which all are working normally so if we quickly come around to the back here I'm going to focus first focus the iPhone we're going to zoom out and as I zoom out you can see I'm doing a, a slow zoom out using the thumb control. Let me just change hands here so you can see what I mean. So there's doing the thumb control and I can then slowly zoom out. And you can see me doing a nice slow zoom out. And um, zoom in. Give me a little faster zoom in. And then, as you can see, that's a little bit out of focus. So I can come over here to the focus. Just, um, there's the focus here, the hand fits on the focus. 
and then I can then just turn the focus in, turn it out, and, uh, and as you can see, I can also pull focus to foreground background, so foreground background. So that's um, a very quick um, tutorial on using a micro studio camera as a studio camera along with his big brothers in um, in a full studio control setup. Any questions? Send me an email. Thank you. Bye.